when Sophia was five. I, I asked her to, to, to draw, I don't know, a quick flower. So she did like, from one, two, three, four, five. And it looked amazing and I did one myself and it looked different. So I intended to copy her stroke and I couldn't, I wasn't able. And I was in huge admiration because her stroke was strong. I always uh, admired her as an artist. Uh, I thought she would be just an artist in her life and that she could put her nose and stick her nose into anything she wished to. Like she was interested suddenly in, 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 other, in science, but that she was an artist. And later uh, she made a painting and uh, real quick and it was an amazing expressionist little painting which I, I had on the wall. And um, over the years she kind of lost interest and I don't know why, but um, I was in huge admiration for her artistry. I understood that no one could imitate another one's stroke. At the time I, I, I wasn't available to, to look at my own capacities and actually considered her a much stronger artist than, than I because her stroke was, was very strong. And I, I thought it was because she was like a seven and Feng Shui and I'm just a six is both strong but seven is harder, less flexible and more bendable. Yeah, she would have contributed great arts to the world I thought, felt, which she actually did and suddenly out of nowhere maybe she was in third grade she went and did this amazing structured pineal gland on the on the sidewalk with chalks about a meter long maybe out of her head everything came out of her head like I had no inclination to do such things but she was like amazing hmm. She then made a less strong painting, but still good, years later when her best friend left in, in sadness. And I framed it and put it up the wall. Um, so, um, three people came to my house and, and the mother of him, she looked at it and she said, wow, frame it, you know, careful, sell it, that's like high value. And he was sensitive to an artistique. He was a carpenter and he invented things, but his wife, she's like, nah. <laughs> and I noticed that certain people have sensitivity for artistry. It's not about taste, but they understand. No, I was um, absolute. I mean, I framed it. It was great. It wasn't that great as the one before, but it was, it was great. It was just great expressionist art. Like I said before, when, when, when we artists, we see another one do good and amazing things, we are in huge admiration. We, don't, we, are not, we are not other than joyful about someone or able and giving out an expression of art. There's nothing else to it because we only contribute. And the more the merrier, <laughs> that's how we feel. We are never jealous about anyone else, ever. If we are in admiration, if we think it's better, you know, then we are in admiration of that as well. And that's all. I wasn't allowed to explore my, my artistry for like pretty much all my life until right now. And I wanted, I longed for making art also finding and wishing and i looked and looked and looked and we went to hunters point twice they're like 100 artists and I, on museums and i could never ever get any movement any project any uh, which i call not art i could never find any i enjoyed ever in in other than which I didn't know I did before. There were just, everything was lacking and everything was missing. It was not feeling good and it wasn't great. It wasn't good. It was, it was boring and there were no substances. And I really searched and wanted. 
So how do I do it? I create reference points. I measure, here's a measurement, there, 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 and there. And um, I look and then I create the image which I have in my mind on the canvas. Now measuring is the safest way and um, the original it's um, it's so much easier because you just ching 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 do it real quick as we did in the Degas ballerinas or a very fast and sketch from uh, the Last Supper. Yet, since I wish to be exact, I measure and it's, it's, it's kind of annoying. Yet, I also create reference points. Let's say I haven't measured this one yet, but what am I going to do next? I'm going to finish this. And what I notice is that the end is at the same level as whatever that is. Or at any other level. And then my natural sense of how things should be. But because you could do it like this, or you can do it like that or like this and this is how I, I do it but of course usually I just kind of look at at the original By not measuring, um, of course it can be inaccurate, but it can also be for free flow, as you noticed that one of the Asher's hands, one free flow has a much stronger expression than the accuracy of the 85 hearts I do. I didn't measure but if this is the arm then of course the shoulder has to be smaller so if I put the shoulder out right here now since there is a natural procession the muscle should be coming out of here so any painting I ever did in all the lifetimes anyone from Da Vinci to Raffaello to Klim to Picasso to anything you see on the side, they all have the same movements interacting and interrelating with each other, which brings the perfect harmony. So in Picasso and, and pretty much every painter in any art form, there's a lot of geometry going on. So let's say if this goes up here, there is exactly the same space in the line or the following of the line as I described a moment ago it's like if you see a bunch here what happens actually is that one comes out of the one person on one side and the other one on the other side it's a lot of movement and the movement is what feels great but I don't envision this with my with my eye but with my inner feeling There's a lot of geometry going on is of if I see one line and I see the other line is where do they actually meet and I can make a curve 
and then there is the vision of eliminating the lines and looking at the space in between let's say this one here look at it zoom out from your lines and look what is the space is it right for me it's is it good is it is it right does it feel right does it does it fit when you measure there's a lot of time to make mistakes because it takes so much concentration and uh, always zoom out yet on the other hand the relation to the lines are so much more relevant than the exact measurements if you make a mistake if it works out you can maybe continue in that uh, mistake but continue the lines if of course everything has to fit perfect together at the end so you have to make sure that 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 is a clarity as i have not corrected one item yesterday in the previous post which is um oh the cubism girl with the mandolin you may find it because i created this maybe it was a mistake um but maybe it was just a different expression and it did work out at the end so i left it I say eliminating lines and uh, creating the space what I mean is this uh, now I did this line here now not exactly is this line in relation to any other because there is none but what is about the space here that's a great help is this space looking okay when I copy the eliminated space so to speak